What's up, college football fans? Don't forget to check out and order your copy of Stiff Arming Football Myths, our latest football game plan book. So go on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copy. We have these available in paperback as well as in PDF form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our FCS College Football Game of the Week preview between the North Dakota State Bison and the Southern Illinois Salukis. Now let's take a look at some coaching points for both teams in this ballgame, starting with the Bison. And for the Bison in this ball game, pressure bust pipes. I'm talking about defensive pressure on the outside, applying pressure on those wide receivers, pressing those guys at the line of scrimmage, keeping them busy, keeping Michael Pruitt, the tight end, busy at the line of scrimmage, clogging up those running lanes so that way they can't get going offensively on the ground. The pressure from the North Dakota State defense has to be huge in this ball game. Now look at one of their best defensive players, free safety Christian Dudzik, going against Michael Pruitt, the tight end. I know Dutzik is a free safety, but he's their best cover guy, and I would utilize him matched up versus their best receiver and tight end Michael Pruitt. And the creativity on offense has to come early in this ball game. They can't start off slow. They can't try to grind this thing out like, like they did last week versus Western Illinois. They have to put points on the board versus Southern Illinois, and I think it all starts with their offense being creative. We saw this happen against Montana. They were creative in putting different personnel on the field in different formations. If they can do the same thing, they can have a lot of success. And for the Salukis in this ball game, you want to keep the Bison defense spread out. I think they can win those matchups in space athletically over North Dakota State. I think that's where they have the advantage. So spread that defense out and attack those individual matchups. And on that offensive line, I would slide protection toward Kyle Emanuel, their outstanding defensive end. You have to entertain him with two blockers, and that way you can have some success moving the football. So you want to slide protection to wherever he's aligned on that defensive line. You have to maximize possessions. You don't know how often you're going to get this football versus North Dakota State. So when you do have the football you have to put points on the board it doesn't matter if it's three or seven points add up so you have to make sure you maximize those possessions and come away with points versus the bison this week versus southern illinois the one player that north dakota state has to take away is the tight end michael pruitt and the one way they can do that or one way they can do that is by banjo covering him which means playing him inside out or combo covering i'm gonna show you how they can do that while also getting pressure on the quarterback. Show you what we're talking about here. Michael Pruitt right there, one of the best players in the FCS. Tight end. We see spread formation and what we're going to do, we're going to show pre-snap cover two, but after the snap is going to roll to cover one man because we're going to be manned on the corners with the free safety going deep. So let's just draw that up right there. Free safety deep. Manned up on the corners. Taking inside position, trying to force those receivers to go outside where the sideline can be your help. Now what we're going to do front side, we're going to try to influence the quarterback to make a quick and bad decision to the tight end because we're combo covering him. So we're going to have the defensive end fly off the, off the edge, trying to get that pressure, walk that tackle out, and we're going to get interior pressure to try to show where we're sending more than we planning to send front side to try to force him into a hot read, like I said before, to the tight end Michael Pruitt. Now we're going to get double A-gap pressure. We're going to send the defensive tackle down the strong side A-gap. Weak side A-gap, both defensive tackles. We're going to send that Mike Backer down the B-gap. Now, here's where we're going to get interesting. We're going to walk this backer up as the cadence starts to wind down, giving the illusion that we're sending him as well. And what we're doing, really, is dropping him back in coverage. Inside shoulder of the tight end, and we're dropping the free safety down in the flat area. Again, combo covering the tight end, playing him inside out. That way, you're bracketing him, trusting your corners on the outside. We're dropping in the zone here and we're sending him off the edge as well so that's one way they can combo cover michael pruitt get pressure down that a gap which is always critical and also try to force a quick and bad decision this week to help them get off the field on third downs versus the salukis if you can't stop the run versus north dakota state you're not going to win the game and in order for the salukis to have success this week versus the bison they have to stop the run. I'm going to show you how they can get aggressive on certain down and distance type situations and stop the run by sending the strong safety. Show you what we're talking about here. We know they run a 3-4. Very tough for a quarterback to decide where that fourth and fifth rusher is coming from. Now versus the running game, the strong side running game, I'm going to show you how they can get pressure front side to try to get that guy on the ground and make it second and long or third and long for the Bison. So what we're going to do here, we're going to send a lot of guys coming front side. So it looks like cover two pre-snap, but really 
it's cover zero. We're not having anyone back deep. We're going to have man on the tight end and on the wide receiver. So what we're doing pre-snap, we're walking down the strong safety. And at the snap of the ball, he's coming off the edge. He's trying to set the edge. Now, we're also sending the backer coming off the edge as well. Five techniques job is to shoot that outside C gap, try to uh, clear space because we're going to get two guys coming down this B gap. We're going to send the backer first, boom. And then we're going to have the nose tackle get a punch, wait, and then come around in the B gap as well. Weak side back, he's spying the near back. So if this is a quick scat call where this guy going is going out this way, he's responsible. If not, if it's a running play strong side, he's going to have to be the field defender is going to come over and scrape and make a play, or he can shoot the gap and, make, and be aggressive in trying to make the play. Weak side, getting pressure, manned up on the outside. We're going to walk him over as well. He's manned up on the tight end. So as this guy starts to walk down, he's walking over, aligning himself with the tight end to take him away in case he's a threat in the passing game. Manned up, try to funnel these guys outside to where your help is. And that's how they can get strong side pressure versus that power running game of the Bison. If the Salukis can do that and put these guys in second and long and third and long situations, I can trust their athletes in space versus North Dakota State. The biggest X factor in this ball game for North Dakota State will be their linebackers and covers. Guys like Carlton Littlejohn, Travis Beck, those guys have to do a great job in the intermediate passing area of Southern Illinois. Otherwise, they can struggle to stay, to get off the field. So I think those linebackers and coverage versus Michael Pruitt in that intermediate passing game is going to have to excel this week versus Southern Illinois. And for the Salukis in this ballgame, the defensive effort, in my opinion, will be the biggest X factor. These guys are excellent in the red zone. They're excellent on third downs, and they're very stout versus the run, all of which point to their chances being huge in this game versus North Dakota State. So if they can continue to play like they've played defensively, it puts them in a great position to come away victorious. Now here are some pro prospects in this ball game you want to keep an eye on. As you can see, both teams have great talent on both sides of the ball. When you look at North Dakota State, Kylie Manuel is one of the best defensive end prospects in the country regardless of the vision. You also look at Southern Illinois having one of the better tight end prospects, H-back prospects, and Michael Pruitt, 6'2", 245, a guy that does a lot of damage in line as well as flexed out as a tight end. Mike Favor is one of the best offensive linemen in program history. Played there from 1985 to 1988. Became a two-time All-American. And it was his quickness off the ball that made him special. He's also inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. In only seven seasons as head coach of the Salukis, Ray Dempsey did an outstanding job compiling a 54-37 record, which puts him second all-time in total wins and first in wins percentage and capped off his career by winning the 1983 1AA championship. I like North Dakota State in this ball game. This will be a low scoring game because both defenses will come to play and they both are excellent at getting off the field on third down. But where North Dakota State has the advantage, they have the advantage in the trenches. I think their offensive line would do a great job in slowing down that pass rush to Southern Illinois to look for the Bison to come away victorious once again and pushing their record to 6-0. And also, don't forget to check out every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, College Football Now on our Football Game Plan Radio Network located at blogtalkradio.com slash footballgameplan. What's up, FCS football fans? I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook with footballgameplan.com. And I'm Kevin Marshall from anygivensaturday.com. And we are the hosts of the FCS Wedge presented by anygivensaturday.com. Check your local listings for station and time in your area.